Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be testing out the Wi-Fi reception and the uh, GPS uh, reception on the Asus Transformer Prime and the Motorola Zoom. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison because um, the Asus Transformer Prime just came out and there's a lot of problems with the uh, Wi-Fi reception and GPS due to the aluminum backing, and so I just want to see um, visually that uh, the the problems that it's actually having. So first I'm going to uh, test out the Wi-Fi by starting up an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Alright so I have two um, different kinds of wireless signals here. One is a uh, wireless G and the other one is a wireless N. So this uh, red bar right here is the uh, wireless G signal on the Motorola Zoom and then this blue bar right here is the uh, wireless N on the Motorola Zoom. And then over here we have um, the wireless N signal for uh, the Asus Transformer Prime and then this green one right here is the um, uh, wireless G signal for the uh, Asus Transformer Prime and uh, both look to be almost identical at uh, 50 dB for uh, the Asus Transformer Prime uh, on the wireless N right here so wireless N is uh, 50 dB and then over here wireless N for the zoom is also 50 dB and then uh, for the transformer prime the wireless G looks at about 60, 70, 60, 65 um, dB and then it's a stronger signal here for the uh, Motorola zoom um, on the wireless G at about 50 dB. Alright so uh, the next thing I want to test out is the uh, internet speed. So first thing I'll run is the speedtest.net app for the Motorola Zoom. So I'll start this test and uh, by comparison I also tested the internet speed on my desktop computer connected with a wire. So we'll see what it's looking at. And uh, I'm also um, a little bit away. I'm outside um, from the wireless access point. I didn't want to test this right inside the same room. Otherwise, they're just going to be both flooded with Wi-Fi signal, and uh, it'll have a really good reception. It's not really going to tell me a whole lot. So I came outside here purposely um, to try to test. I give it some little distance. All right, so uh, the... Wi-Fi test here is um, the download speed is about 11,600 kilobits per second and uh, 871 kilobits per second upload. So the download is 11,613. And then we'll go ahead and fire up speed test on the Asus Transformer Prime here. And it uh, looks like it's almost just as fast. Yeah, looks pretty much identical in terms of Wi-Fi. Actually, it's just a tad bit faster on the upload speed than on the download speed. On my desktop I got about um, 2300 or 23,000 kilobits per second down and uh, 1 uh, kilobits per second or uh, 1000 kilobits per second up on the desktop. So looks like uh, the Wi-Fi uh, on the Asus Transformer Prime is almost identical to the Wi-Fi on the Motorola Zoom. So now I'm going to test out the GPS app here. And uh, immediately the 
the Motorola Zoom did acquire a signal, an accuracy of about 28 feet, which is pretty good. And the Asus Transformer Prime accuracy, not so great. Not terrible, but uh, the accuracy is not as accurate as the Motorola Zoom. Fluctuating between 45, 75, and 100 feet of accuracy. And also, um, I think it's able to acquire only eight different connections or eight satellites, um, seven or eight on the Asus Transformer Prime, but the um, Motorola Zoom has 12 or can see 12 and is using 8 and then the Asus Transformer Prime can see 9 or 8 uh, but is only using 6. Um, but it's taking a little while longer. It's getting better. Oh, maybe not. But it fluctuates. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just a quick uh, test between the Wi-Fi and GPS. Hopefully I'll get to do a lot more and find out some other ways of testing out the accuracy and also uh, my experiences with the Asus Transformer Prime in terms of Wi-Fi and GPS. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you later.